Okay, I uh, I replicated the um, basically it's like a galvanic battery. Um, I think his name is La Laser Saber uh, that he showed or demonstrated. And basically, what it is, you take an old dead six volt battery. You guys have seen these are lantern batteries, and you tear them apart, and what you'll find is four carbon rods inside. Okay, and you can see the ones missing there that I used here. And um, I, uh, um, what I did is I ran this one to a jewel thief. Now, what he did is he ran these, I'm guessing, in series uh, so he didn't have to have a circuit in there. What I did is I just used a jewel thief, okay, and... I, what I did is I used um, masking tape and then this magnesium ribbon. There's like 75 feet, I believe it is. It's 99% or 99.8% magnesium. And uh, I put masking tape around it just like he, he did and he showed. And then um, I used the magnesium and wrapped that from the bottom up to the top. And of course there's... Uh, tape in between, just masking tape to separate the two. And um, the magnesium is acting as the negative. And you can see there's the LED back there. You, it's kind of messy because I got wires, you know, the wires running off in the jewel thief, but you guys get the idea, I'm sure. Um, you can see I left the caps on that were originally with. Uh, the carbon. These are just carbon. They're, they're pure carbon rods is all they are. Um, so anyway, it does work. I don't know how long it'll run for, but uh, my guess is, being that it's a uh, galvanic battery, it will probably run until the negative um, magnesium here is, of course, eaten, eaten up or eaten away as the electrons are flowing and they're generating electricity but that's pretty bright LED which uh, on my viewfinder doesn't look very bright but of course with the lights off it's uh, it's very it's very bright it's as bright as it gets with a 3.6 volt battery so anyway this this here I got off eBay um, like I said it's 75 feet I think it was uh, six dollars I think is what it cost me and uh, it's really, you know, depending on how long it runs, I'm not sure that it's worth it, but just to try an experiment. And like I said, you wouldn't have to have a jewel thief. Of course, you could go ahead and just wire those in series, you know, build them just like that, and then just wire them in series, and then just run the LED direct right off it. But, um, yeah, not, not, not too much to it. It's, uh, they're only oh, about three and a half inches tall and this center rod here is also made of, made of uh, carbon but it's a separate rod it slides in and out of a hole in there why they did that I'm not exactly sure other than maybe just for contact make a con better contact or something maybe but um, so anyway yeah it, uh, it works so uh, that's a successful replication and um, you guys can check out uh, Laser Saber's uh, videos there. He's he'll show you a little more in depth on how to do it. He also builds the um, Nathan Stubblefield coils. So if you guys are interested in those, all right, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.